another window view for another journey. This time we're at the Hampton Inn and uh, I forgot where we're at. <laughs> oh, we, yes, we are at the Hampton Inn in Paul's Valley. You know we gotta try all of them. Let's look around. Lights aren't on, so might be a little dark, but per usual. Nice room, nice beds. Let's go check the shower head. That's usually something different in each one. We got Mama with us. Looks like just a standard basic one. No rain like effect, like in the Katusa one, but still looks good. It's like those pump bottles my daughter was talking about. Then Drury in episode. Yeah, overall nice as always. Always gotta show it off because I don't know. I just started something I can't stop. I want to point out that I do like this view we got. It's just of the highway. You got the American flag. I like to envision that all these people are traveling to their bucket list and not at work right now, but I don't know that to be true. Here is their pool area. They also have the dolphins at the Katusa one. It's a nice big old room, very clean. The pool looks clean. Here's a outdoor patio you could chill at. Here's what the inside of their fitness room looks like. Yeah, quite about quite a bit of TVs in here. All right, time to go walk Millie before you eat breakfast. It's that time of the day. I literally came home yesterday from eating some amazing barbecue and just crashed and I just woke up. So I've been asleep for 12 hours. It's like the first time in forever I've slept that long. Which that does make me kind of disappointed because I'm the type of person that likes to explore and do stuff and I didn't do that this trip. I didn't even drink any of the margarita stuff that we got. Oh. This is basically our view around us is just highway. Which I thought was kind of cool. Because I got a pretty good imagination. I could have went and just explored the side of the road and been happy and I didn't do it. But that was yesterday. Today's a whole new journey. I'm thinking today we're going to go to a place called Arbuckle Mountains or Arbuckle Wilderness, one or the other. Um, and we're going to go look at some animals because my dog here has never seen like ostriches and stuff like that. And just thought we'd take her to see her reaction. She's not a barker or anything. She's more curious than anything, so I'm kind of excited to see her reaction to the animals. And we're also going to stop by and get some more Arbuckle fried pies. Try some new flavors. It's just straight nothingness in the highway over here surrounded by it but I like that I like that can't wait to see this hotel's breakfast that's something else I like is breakfast oh my dog heard breakfast and she's about to run to the races that's what she lives for is that food I love the way she climbs the stairs like my little people good job mama
Look at this carpet. I don't know if I pointed this out yesterday, but I really enjoy this. This is fun looking carpet. Time to go see if there's anything down here I can get my dog to eat. And then I get to eat. Let's go check it out. Here's the awesome tasting coffee bar. I do think that their coffee is awesome tasting. Here's where it looks like you can eat your breakfast. See some of the hot food. We got biscuit and gravy. Oh yes. We got sausage, potatoes, and eggs. I'm excited about these potatoes. We got cereal right here. The waffles, oatmeal, and yogurt, and muffins. So far for the dog, I got the eggs and turkey sausage. And I got these for my haul home. It's a Nissan, so it's a big ad. We are now headed to load the car up and get ready to go to the Arbuckle Wilderness. Which those videos will be up later, so go check them out. Look at that beautiful sunrise. This is that nothingness I was talking about earlier. Here's the highway. Here's that nothingness. It was really dark, so you probably couldn't see too much. It's beautiful, though. So this is about, like, probably the worst thing about a February adventure. Is you got to come out here and defrost your car before you go. Which, it's definitely not that big of a deal, but... There's got to be something bad about everything, so I would have to say this is the uh, the worst of it. I mean, unless your vehicle broke down or something like that, that'd be a lot worse. But just like if I had to say something was the worst on a perfect day, I would say this is the worst. Having to defrost your car before the adventure. Millie out here getting a walk in while I gas up on our way to Arbuckle Wilderness. Bring in your Chevy to certified service. 